So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do an easy solo merge glitch in GTA 5 Online after the new patch of 1.68 and the new Chop Shop DLC. So this is after the Chop Shop DLC and this is completely solo. Uh, currently at the moment of recording, this is the only solo merge glitch that works. So um, I know some people won't really like this glitch, but it's the only one that works as solo since a lot of people have been asking me uh, to make a solo method. But before we get into this video, make sure you do watch this part, it's going to be really important. It's going to be the requirements for this glitch. So basically, there's going to be all the stuff that you need for this method right here before starting. So I'm going to put it at the beginning of the video. That way you don't have to watch the whole video if you're like missing certain amount of requirements. But I think we'll get straight to it. So the first thing you're going to need for this method right here is going to be a donor car. So basically, if you don't know what a donor car is, it's basically like a car with F1 wheels or bennies, or it could just be a regular Benny car. Or you could watch my last video, I showed how to make your own model cars, how to make your donor car. Uh, but like I said, if you just have like a regular Benny car or with Benny wheels, that will work um, completely fine. The second thing you're going to need is going to be an arena workshop. So make sure you have an arena. If you don't have an arena, it's not going to work. This whole method right here is in the arena. So if you don't have an arena and all of that, literally... Make sure you have that and uh yeah so it's pretty easy by the way yes for anyone wondering i'm not gonna like waste your time yes this is car to rc but next week i will be uploading a car to car merge so make sure you click that subscribe button literally the rest subscribe button just click on it and you will miss out on next week's video because currently if you didn't know if you are following up on reddit on r slash gta glitches there's a huge uh, merge glitch car to car that is blowing up right now so i'm definitely gonna make a tutorial on it i just need a little bit of time because it's not that easy but it's like pretty easy once you get the hang of it uh, so it'll probably be out by like Friday. So make sure you do click that subscribe button. That way you don't miss it. And yeah, I think we just get straight to it. So now there's a few things that we need to do before we start. So make sure you are in a public session. So this works better in a public session. Um, I did this in private sessions and I couldn't get it to work. But I went into a public session and it worked. So first you have to do so go to options and go to matchmaking and make sure you set it to close. So that's one of the first things you have to do. Now once you've done that, if you're playing on new gen, uh, if you're an old gen that doesn't really matter but if you're a new gen make sure you change your graphics mode to fidelity or fidelity whatever it's called so just for this glitch right here you'll be able to switch it back after and then what you have to do is usually people say call it simian but i recommend you call general instead for this so call general and you'll have to request a job now get inside your donor car and go into the arena workshop gtaops.com GTA Ops offer a variety of cheap, stacked, modded accounts. They also have boosting services and a lot more. GTA Ops is currently one of the top trusted websites on the market at the moment. So I will leave a link to GTAOps.com in the description down below. So to get yourself a cheap, stacked, modded account and also boosting services for your existing accounts. But uh, yeah, let's keep going with the video. So yeah, just go into the arena workshop and now once in here what you'll have to do so just change one thing on the car so it could literally be anything uh it could be like the armor or literally don't change the tint though because the tint might be modded so i recommend just changing the armor there's no such thing as modded armor so uh you're not going to be scratching it so now get out of the car and what you'll have to do is go up to your rc bandito i also forgot to mention you do need an rc for this um but yeah so what you have to do is you need to go to general and you will have to basically hold options and as soon as you let go of options you have to click x so you hold options and x at the same time and then you let go of option first and then you click x don't do the other way around so as you can see here i did end up messing up but so basically it's very simple you hold on to trying or to options and x at the same time you leave your thumb or whatever off of uh, options and then you click x so that's the order you have to do it in if you do it in the other order if you like unhold x before you like you keep holding options it will not work so i know this might seem a bit confusing it took me about five tries to do it and by the way yes this is car to rc but like i said next week i will have a method on how you can get your own mod cars like personal vehicles and stuff and um yeah so make sure you do click that red subscribe button that way you don't miss it and also last week i already made a solo or not a solo it is a car to car merge last week i made one so if you didn't watch that one you could do that um but yeah this one's solo so but basically what you have to do is once you so yeah basically i didn't explain this part so i know i just started talking a bit too much here so what you have to do is once you did that part you'll have to start up a ton of a job so as you can see here i actually ended up messing it up 
So you have the startup title of a job and it has to say that it's not simian but general. So see over here I did it again, then I went to online and I clicked on jobs and then go to Rockstar Created. And you're gonna have to start the mission a titan of a job. So now if you did it correctly, it will say general instead of um, simian or whatever Lester. If it doesn't say general or simian, if it says like Lester, you have to restart the glitch, just change one thing on your car and just do this part again. Now, once you back out of this, you have to click right on the D-pad as soon as you see the RC Bandito. This might take a few tries. Actually, this was my fifth try, I believe. So yeah, now you just back out of the job and you'll see all the mods are transferred over the RC Bandito. So make sure like that exact frame that you see the RC when you back out of the job, you just click right on the D-pad. So uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Currently, there isn't any methods to actually transfer this onto your cars, uh, but make sure you do click that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss the video next week. Um, but yeah, I will try to find a method. Maybe you can get this onto any of your cars uh, if possibly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to catch y'all my next video. I'm not going to stretch this out eight minutes. Uh, Permission no point. But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all there. And yeah, peace.